soul with the wise and courageous leadership of Archer. The Gorgonites halted the spread of commando colonization on the peaceful mining planet of Zabrigard 4. And don't come back or we'll be forced to give you more of the same. The commando elites will never surrender until this ugly hunk of rock is ours! Kevin, get a move on, you're late already. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Wise and courageous Archer. Ha! What he meant to say was weak and cowardly. Strength and courage are not measured in the conquest of innocent creatures. That is not the Gorgonite way. Don't touch me, Gorgonite! <laughs> Your cheap plastic may mar my uniform. My apologies, Major Hazard. Ah! <laughs> Do forgive me. Forgiveness is futile! You're finished, Gorgonite! We shall see about that, Commando Aggressor! Okay, the volume for this is a little loud, I believe, so let's turn it slightly down by two notches and hopefully that's still at a relatively good volume for you all hello people of the internet oh hello okay this game is a little bit glitchy I will say that right now hello people of the internet this is shaky Jake and I really need a catchphrase so today and for the next few videos I've decided to play a game I haven't played in about five or six years and it is Small Soldiers Squad Commander which is a PC exclusive game from 1998 which was essentially released around the same time as the Small Soldiers film directed by Joe Dante uh, who also directed Gremlins which is an amazing film and Gremlins 2 and he did a load of other great films as well etc etc so Small Soldiers Squad Commander, I wanted to do this for a variety of reasons. One, I don't think it's been covered very often online. Two, it's my favourite Small Soldiers game from the Small Soldiers craze, because there was a lot of tie-in merchandise around the time the film was released. And I just want to play it again, because this was, in a way, my first real-time strategy game that I ever played and it's a very streamlined simplified version of an RTS but it's still relatively good I think if I played it as an adult when it first came out I probably would have just glossed over it and thought oh this is this is silly this is ridiculous but as a kid it was good so just to prove that this is a fresh install I've got no saves at all and on the videos because you can watch all the cutscenes if you really want to none of them have been unlocked apart from the very first video that plays when you boot the game up and what's gonna happen with this game is I'm gonna play it in multiple parts but there are two campaigns one with the Gorgonites which I believe is meant to be the canon playthrough as in, you know, it's the good playthrough, therefore it's the one that realistically would be the most likely one to happen. And then the Commander Elite, who are the evil side, very much like the film this is based on. Even though it's not based on the film at all, it's in a different universe. It's different from the PlayStation game as well, which I also have. Um, essentially, this is its own game. And, yeah... We're going to play through this and see how it goes. So let's press play. And I've got to say, getting this to work on Windows 10 was actually relatively straightforward. I didn't have to mess around with compatibility settings too much. I didn't have to do anything substantial. The biggest pain was getting it ready for recording because OBS doesn't like this game in terms of it likes to put it in the top left hand corner of the screen so I had to maximize the recording resolution way beyond 1920 by 1200 pixels which is the size of both of my monitors 
So it's actually about three or four times the size of my actual monitors right now, the recording area, just so this fits in at, you know, full screen, widescreen, etc. So a bit of mass had to be used to get there and a lot of alt tabbing, but I think it will be worth it. So this is one of the few times I actually prefer playing the evil side in a game, but we're not going to play the commandos yet. You can obviously select which one you want to be, and whoever's leaning backwards is going to be the enemy faction for the game. So, regrettably, as much as I'd love to play the commandos, because they're my favourite, you know, faction to play in this game, I'm going to go with the Gorgonites first, because I'd rather save the more ridiculous fun campaign for later. So we're going to play the Noble Gorgonites. We're gonna, you can select a difficulty, beginner and expert. As far as I can remember, the only differences between these two are how many units you can spawn in each level, and the enemy AI may spawn more, you know, more enemies for you. So let's begin. And the cutscenes may glitch a little. The disc I have is very very scratched because I did play this a lot over the years and even up to 2011 and 2012 I was still playing this so it has been five or six years since I played it but if there's any problems with the cutscenes or anything I will try and re-record them off screen as in I'll re-record them in a separate session and then piece them back in okay so I think I've done enough talking now let's begin <laughs> Now your chin is as broken as your world domination plan. Perhaps I have overstated our position. Slamfist, Insaniac, where are you? We're under here, protecting the, uh, stuff. <laughs> Gorgonite Kinsman, we must strengthen our opposition to these pillagers to reclaim this residence. The spread of commando domination must not take hold. I love how my mouse is already highlighting quit as if to say what on earth am I doing playing a 1998 game on a you know, Windows 10 PC. You won't see this by the time I've edited it together but the cutscenes were having trouble playing during that recording and I believe it's because my disk drive decided to spin at the time which is you know useful. I'm, I've not got a disk drive in this PC at the moment, I am in the process of putting one in, I just haven't been bothered to do so yet. So this is your map essentially for when you select levels and there's about, if we call them worlds, there's about five if I remember correctly. So you have the first one for level one, then you have world two which has about three levels, world three which has two, world four that has three and I think and then another one for the final level. I don't know, my maths might be off there, but let's have a look at Townhouse of Trouble. Location, the home of Kevin Butler. Who was the kid in the introduction? Objectives, fight your way to the family office and power up the computer to track the location of additional team members. So the gimmick of every faction's uh, campaign is you only have three members of each faction and then you have to rescue the others. Again, it, I think it's a way to slowly ease you into the game and get you used to a couple of units before you can have a whole army. It's quite a nice idea, but let's begin. So you can have game tips, I just keep them on just for the hell of it, but let's see what it says. When fighting with a group, put the bigger, stronger squad members up front seems reasonable. Okay, now this is far too fast scrolling wise. I don't know why, because like when I was a kid it, this was absolutely fine, but it's too sensitive for me, so I'm just going to quickly turn that down. Okay, that's a little bit more reasonable. I can live with that. Let's just have a look what it would be like on the lowest. Uh, I think I have to give props to the one with a little bit more sensitivity. Yeah, we'll stick with this for now. So, 
I'll go through the gameplay mechanics so you've got an idea what's going on. So here is your toy box and if you can see it says there's seven units left. Basically I can only spawn seven more units and then if they all die then it's game over and the commando elite win. And at the moment you can see that there's a map in the top corner which gets progressively smaller as the as the game progresses and a max team size which is currently at three so that's why when I click on the toy box I can't spawn anyone else because the team's already full so let's begin you can click and select a unit so there's Archer you've got Slamfist and you've got Insaniac and the voice acting will get really tiring I, I can guarantee that right now um, I'm not quite sure how my uh, family put up with me constantly playing this game because I had the volume on pretty much full blast and you know we had a family PC at the time so it was in the rest of the house and they had to listen to this dialogue playing endlessly especially when I always pick the same characters for both units but I'm rambling so uh, let's progress you can click and drag to highlight all the units you've got and then everyone just starts becoming talkative when they move or do anything. So we've got an enemy over here and that's Kip Killigan, I think. It, again, it's been a, a long time since I remember anything Small Soldiers based, but I believe it's Kip Killigan. So we've got some objects here that you can use against the enemies. So if I pick it up, it, shall be done. it fills up here. So I've got a firecracker which is not the strongest uh, projectile you can throw at enemies but it's relatively good so I'm going to throw that at Kip Killigan or in the general area because I think there are two around here and let's do that As you wish. Take cover. It is Archer. apparently Kip Killigan doesn't mind it's having a firecracker thrown at him but okay we can live with that uh, we'll save that one for later and we'll attack it. And that went relatively smoothly uh, thanks to the firecrackers. Now what you've got to remember with this game is that uh, each unit has their strengths and weaknesses so if I double click on Archer you can see that he's relatively fast, vision's pretty good, he's, he's effectively a balanced unit. Actually pretty good for a balanced unit. And, oh, and the sound's glitching up a little bit. Again, I'm not sure if that's due to compatibility issues or because of the disc. So, unfortunately we're going to have to put up with that because I don't have a digital copy of this game. I don't even know if one's available because I think this game is so overlooked and that's one of the reasons why I'm playing it. Uh, slam first, fairly slow, vision's not, you know, it's average. Attack range is awful because he's a melee character. Attack power is amazing apparently. I never really used slam fist as a kid because I found him too slow and I didn't like his range but that attack power is really good. And then he's got really good defense for uh, HP and then Insaniac who was the one I pretty much always used when I played the Gorgonites when I was a kid uh, relatively fast vision is just about average and then the others are I don't know I prefer Archer these days when it comes to pretty much all the stats so Insaniac I'm not quite sure why I used him as often as I did I think it's because he attacked really fast but anyway, so we've got a door here and we can't get past it until we use this key. So what I'm going to do is use Slam Fist because if he's the beefiest character he can take the most hits. So let's do that and bring him back. Oh, and Saniax died. Great. Okay, so we're going to spawn another unit now. And as you can see, three of the toys are 
greyed out because we need to rescue them at some point. So we've only got access to Archer, Slamfist and Insaniac. We're gonna spawn Insaniac again for equality reasons. I know, I'm, I, I, I like to consider my, my team. Um, Archer has the best vision so let's quickly um, you know, look around. This red box with a little person inside, if you activate this, it adds another number to your toy box so you can spawn more units to save getting game over. So let's activate this. As you wish. And as you can see, it's gone back to seven. Yeah, so it's gone back to seven because we've activated that. These things here, I will explain in a moment because I don't want to die just yet. Sure. That's easy. That's easy. It is hard to do, as you wish. I'm messed up pretty bad, sir. You need me? Okay, good. It shall be done, as you wish. These things here, you don't want to walk into where, you know, these little cherry bomb things, I'm assuming. If you walk into those, or if the enemy walks into those, you lose health. And if there's a whole load of them, then you'll lose units. Pretty self-explanatory. So, we're going to blow these up. And we're going to blow them up again. And we're going to blow them up again. Okay. As you wish, it shall be done. Now, shall be done. This thing here, this rotating person, is very similar to the one from the uh, additional toy spawnage point thing. If you pick that up with any particular character, it, shall be done. it clones them. Ready to so with our new archer, it shall be done. It shall I'm going be to done. pick these two up. And what they do, if you pay attention to here, where it shows what weapon they carry, now I'm going to pick one it up. Shall be done. It will now say plus one, and essentially the weapons become more powerful for that character. You can pick it up, up, to, up, you know, you can pick these things up twice. You can't get any more than times two effectiveness. As you wish. So again, we've got an archer that's fully upgraded. As you wish. If he dies, then we it lose the upgrades. Relatively straightforward. So we're going to yeah, get Insania. <laughs> And we're going to put this on here because otherwise we'll have to keep standing off and stuff and that can be dangerous. I might turn the volume down again because Insaniac is going to be uh, pretty annoying, I think. Because that's his character based on the film anyway, which I haven't seen in years. I've got it on video. I've never bought the DVD copy and I don't think it's on Blu-ray. It shall be done. But this is Ready a different beast from the film. As you wish. So here we have health. One that gives, I think, 25% and the other one which gives 50. So we're going to pick up the 50 one. It shall be done. Yeah, 50% increase. As you wish. It is and we're going to use Archer to do this. As you wish. Now watch what done. happens. One of the best things about this game is you can use the environment to your advantage if you plan your attack effectively, such as that. So let's grab Archer again and get him to run in the bathroom. And then we're going to run him back, grab the 25% health. And there we go, we've killed two units in a row, which is perfect. And it saves As us having wish. to lose loads of health. As you wish. As you wish. Now, can we flush the toilet and get anything good out of it? As you wish. As you wish. It shall be done. As you wish. It shall be done. No, apparently we can just flush the toilet endlessly. As so let's pick it up another uh, recruit. So again, we've got eight now. We shouldn't need eight to complete this it level, but it's always done. nice to see. And let's blow the TNT up again. Don't do, you know, don't stand right by this because you will lose health. So you don't want to use Slam Fist to blow this up. Okay. 
It shall be done. It shall be done. And again, I lost and quite a bit of health there, but it, it was worth it. Done. It shall be done. Yeah, what do you want? Snuff out. Uh, Nick Nitro. Again, if I'm remembering his name correctly, Nick Nitro is scary as an enemy AI. <laughs> uh, you want to be careful if you encounter him. It shall Same be with done. Rick Bazooka, who we encountered earlier with Chip Hazard. It shall be done. Well, right. It shall be done. And uh, Butch. Oh, I can't remember his surname, but Butch, the guy with the sniper, he's he's pretty dangerous as well. I mean, he, two of him took out, or one of him took out Insaniac earlier. Sure. This here is the 100% health boost, so That's we're going to use Slam Fist to pick that up. Basically, just gives you all your health back, regardless of how low it is. And As you let's wish. open the door. It shall be done. As you wish. It is Archer. It shall be done. It shall be done. It's As just, you wish. It's just is it my day? You need me. And here, we get introduced to the concept wish. of the enemy AI having a toy box done. of its own. We lost another unit there, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter too much, because I think that's all of them it dead. Shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. Now, there's nothing in this game that says you have to take out all the toy boxes to complete a level. Because, you know, there's no objective that says you have to destroy all of them. It just makes your life ten times easier if you do. Unless if you feel like rushing to the end of the level, which is a legitimate strategy at times. So, the only other thing I can introduce in here as a mechanic is the cherry bomb, which is essentially a better version of the firecracker. And I appreciate that for a tutorial level I have spoken quite a long time on how the game works, but again, it makes sense within the context of anyone who hasn't played this before. And the Commando Elite campaign is very similarly designed to the Gorgonite one, in the sense that they follow a similar kind of narrative. But again, let's just complete the first level. Because, once we activate this, uh, we have the best ever line of dialogue from a game that I've ever heard. I say best, it might not be the very best, but it's one of my personal favourites. And I will repeat it as after the cutscene's finished. And it will also probably be the name of this video. So, let's complete level one. As you wish. Outstanding! We're safe in the office, and I know my way around here. Um, every time you complete a level, you get a bit more of the plot from the characters, which is, you know, quite nice. It's not just the same generic, oh, well done, you've beaten the level, so carry on with the game. Um, okay, time for the best dialogue ever in a late 90s game, or at least one of them, but it never gets talked about. Jackpot, the family computer. Let's log on and track the signal location of some of our brothers. What if we can't find them? What if it's just us? And your boulder's putting in some overtime. <laughs> hey, stop your shoving. <laughs> Here we are. I've located Punchit, Frankenstein, and Ocula. Unfortunately, they're completely outmanned by those weapon-clad barbarians. The commando initiative is spreading rapidly. By now, they've established bunkers and supply stockpiles. Come on! We've got to halt this invasion before it takes hold! Jackpot! The family computer! Yeah, that's that's the line I've, uh, I've always admired. It's uh, one of my favourites. Okay, so... Now we're on to World 2, if we're going for traditional game style terminology, uh, where we have three levels where we have to rescue the rest of our squad. Um, you know, Ocular, Frankenstein, and um, Punch It. 
And the order I always did it in was the reverse order of what Archer says in the cutscene. So I normally go for Market Mischief first, then I go to Battered Home Guard, and then I go to Bunkers in the Basement. Now, realistically, I should play this where I go to the first house, because it wouldn't make sense for me if I was doing this realistically to go past the first two locations, go to a supermarket, and then backtrack to these but I just you know this game's already going beyond the realm of realism it is literally DreamWorks version of Toy Story after all so I'm gonna go to Market Mischief first to get Ocula because I need a good scalp because that's what the Gorgonites are lacking at the moment and even though Archer is good at, with his vision I would rather have a more dedicated scout and also because Ocula is pretty much the weakest unit in the Gorgonite faction because he's just so frail and he's not very good at attacking but he's really good at scouting so I'm gonna get him first so this is Market Mischief and the location is the market Mart, Mini Mart, oh my god that's a bit redundant, why do you have to have Mart twice? Uh, the objectives are to eliminate all Commando toy generators, oh ok so we do actually have this as an objective, is that the case with all of them? No it isn't, ok. Right, so we got to eliminate all the Commando toy generators and we got to rescue Ocula. Sounds pretty straightforward to me, so let's go. And this is a pillage village this part of the game. Always say please and thank you. Why on earth is that a tip? I've never understood that. You can look at mission tips as well. Um, but again, we won't do that for spoiler reasons. And again, every level in this game, they all use the same kind of themes. So certain levels will reuse songs. And that's not a big deal to me. But the Gorgonites have their own arrangements. And the Commando Elite have their own arrangements. So the Gorgonites have this kind of fantasy based theme and then the Commando Elite have this very much military style backing. So we're going to spawn another Archer because Archer is, Archer is love, Archer is life. It is Archer. And you could in theory just have, you know, all your toys go in different directions but I normally like to keep them together so they can back each other up like now. And as as the levels progress, all the characters say different lines when they die and when they get attacked, etc, etc. And I think it's because the developers realised that uh, players would get sick of hearing the same lines over and over again. So there is some variation there. Now there's some binoculars, so Archer, you're going to pick them up because you'll make a good scout until we get Ocula. And again, if you were to give those binoculars to Ocula, then you've pretty much got a really amazing scout wish. sorted. As you wish. Uh, there's a, you know, there's a pin machine, or a, it looks like a pin machine, um, that's got a code on it, 103. That will be important later on. It is Archer. So let's progress. Interesting. I am trying not to explain the game now because I think I've done that enough in the first level now and I, I would rather just carry on playing the game as if we're what doing do it need? normally. Now you're you oh, only See, Nick Nitro, he takes off quite a lot of health from the character who's got the most hit points, even though Slamfist had tons of backup. Quite scary need? really. So we're gonna get Archer Interesting. an upgrade Interesting. Interesting. and he's gonna do a bit of scouting for us. Interesting. 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 Okay, there's a few enemies around, let's see. Interesting. Think. As you wish. As you wish. As you wish. Oh, there we go. Let's run him back. And this is a legitimate strategy that you can use as well. Find the enemies, bring them back, and then have your entire team take them out. 
Interesting. Especially for the tougher enemies. As you wish. As you wish. As you and Brick Bazooka is scary, especially when there's two of him. So we're going to take him out as soon as possible. Okay, we almost lost Insaniac there because the pathfinding um, archer couldn't get round, or the second archer couldn't get round, which is a little bit of an annoyance because we needed it. Yep. But oh well. So S Insaniac needs the health the most here because I think Slamfist can, de you know, deal with it a little bit more. We're gonna give Insaniac no. Actually, we'll save the upgrades for a moment, because I want to do a little bit more scouting, and I don't want to lose a unit by accident, if I can. What you got to remember is, I haven't played this for several years, so I am expecting to be incredibly rusty. I used to know the layouts for these levels, you know, really well, but I don't anymore particularly. So I'm taking it as slow as possible. The other issue as well is I um <laughs> because this game is very old by today's standards, to move your characters you have to left click. And I'm so used to playing RTSs where you have to press white right mouse click. And I'm just not used to pressing left mouse click anymore. And uh because I can't rebind the controls, as far as I remember, then it makes it a little bit harder to figure out. And plus the oversensitivity with movement by default, uh, I had to modify it just slightly. I needed it to be a lot more slower. I think my reaction times have got a lot worse over the years, plus the fact that I'm using a much better setup than I was. So my mouse and keyboard are very sensitive anyway, because they are well designed for games. As so you let's wish. scout a bit more. As you wish. And I'm As using the wish. wrong one, but I don't really mind. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, it's a shield. As you wish. As so you the wish. shield does exactly what it says down here. It protects you, you from damage. Yep. Not sure how much buy, but it protects you either way. Me, it is let's get the actual archer with the binoculars out. As you wish. As you wish. Interesting. So he, there's an enemy up here, surely. Yeah, there we go. Run, 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 run. Okay, that was a little bit sad. We have lost Slamfist, but that's not a problem because we can get another one of him out. Okay, Insaniac, I think I'm going to make you have both of these because it would be nice to see all your... Um... What I'm going to try and aim to do is show off everyone's fully upgraded... Um, you know, fully upgraded weapons. Including characters like Ocular who can't attack. For, you know, they can't attack at all, pretty much. But I think it's worth showing them as best I can. The 25% health increases I think normally come back, I will have to verify that later on, but the other two health um, pickups do not. So that's Archer's attack on plus one. It's not amazing, but it's better than the default attack. So we can verify this now. Let's pick up the 25% health increase if these guys get out of the way. What do you need? And let's pick this up as well. As you wish. Interesting. No fair. I barely got to Okay. Insaniac's attack on times two is incredibly, incredibly fast and incredibly damaging. So that's why I wanted him to have, you know, plus two. Because I think it does speed up attack. Um. 
I believe there's another butch unit here, so let's sneak past. Oh, no, there's two, there's two. Run, run, run. Oh my god, there's three of them. Why is there three? Quick! And of course I'd lose the upgraded units. Of course I'd lose the upgraded units. Oh, that's annoying. Oh well, we'll just have to rebuild our team. I believe it's because I've spent too long trying to get to the top of this. Normally I'm only used to there being about two, not three. Interesting. So I'm going to have to improve my game, aren't I? As you wish. Okay, slam fist. Nope. You can have the shield. Okay, so this door here, we need to get a key for it. And the key is predictably here. But because we're toys, we have to go the long way around. So let's get Archer and Insaniac back. As you wish. It is Archer. Interesting. As you wish. Interesting. As you wish. Interesting. Okay, can I As take out wish. the toy box from here? Oh, I can. Excellent. Right, mean? Archer. Other Archer. Get over here. Can't remember if Insaniac can. No, he can't, because his range is too short. There we go. One more toy generator to go. And this is going to be the last level I play for today because I want to try and play two levels per session. And hopefully they'll go a little bit quicker than this because otherwise we'll be here for ages. But I did need to talk through how the game works and I think that was relatively important. Especially if it hasn't been covered online as often as I... I, I don't believe this game's been covered very often. I could be completely wrong, though. As you wish. But I thought this would be a good one to let's play. As you wish. Because of the fact I don't think it's as, as well you known as, you know, say, the Small Soldiers what game on the PS1 or you, as well known now as the film. I would like to see the film again, because it has been years since I've seen it. The enemy AI is actually quite clever in the sense that it does occasionally switch who they attack. Um, and here is one of the um, first traps in the game. If you stand here when this is shooting out cheese, it's an insta death. You're pretty much dead straight away. But you can use that against the enemy AI. And if you time it right, you save so much health being lost and so many units dying, etc. Um, let's see, there's two chip hazards. Right. We're going to try and kill these two. Um, excellent, we killed both of them. And what you have to be careful of is if an enemy shoots you from here, your characters will automatically respond to that and will run off without you and then they can end up in situations like this where they'll just die on the cheese thing for example so let's not let that happen as you wish interesting let's get our other units across is you talking? slam fist is, is the one i'm worried about here interesting as you wish and what I would recommend is never drag multiple units across here, across here because one, their speed varies, and two, you will lose some units doing that. So definitely do not, unless if you feel really confident about your ability. And I actually don't feel confident about my ability um, getting multiple units across at once. That's easy. So here we have some boots which speed your characters up. This would be useful for Slam Fist actually. And then you have a grenade which does tons of damage. That could almost kill Butch over here, if not actually kill him outright. And here we need to stand on this. If you have a character stand on this and then you let go, um, that unit will die, so be careful. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got eight units spare, and we've got full health. Full health? We've got full health available what down do here. Need? So let's pick that up. As you wish. And it's we'll leave the other one for when we desperately need it. What do you Archer, need? take out him. And then scroll back. Okay, that's all of them dead. Which is awesome. And certain parts of the terrain will slow you down as well. So, for example, this hot dog thing here. Uh, right. So, we need this archer to pick up the key. Because once he's got the key, he's got the secret. It is Archer. Interesting. Anyone who knows what song that is, well done. It is Archer. Interesting. One thing you should also be aware of as well is if you see a newspaper article like this, I mean, do this one mean? doesn't particularly give you any, you know, you anything mean? substantial. It just tells you that Butch is dangerous, really. Um, sometimes they'll have clues on. Um, they can be used to help you progress through the level and very similar to this 103 over here let's see what that 103 actually means when we get there some traps like this you can turn off uh, this one you cannot but later ones you can and if a unit dies when they're carrying something, they automatically drop that picker. The game is kind to you in the sense that only you can pick things up, the enemy AI can't. So you've got that to not worry about at least. Interesting. Now you're talking. What do you need? Okay, so Archer, unlock this. This is not going to go well, I don't think. That's precisely why it won't go well. But it went better than I expected. Okay, so the 25% health increase does definitely come back after a small period of time. I've never actually timed it, but I'm sure it's only a couple of minutes. I'm a little bit embarrassed that I've lost two units to Link Stata. Probably the weakest unit for all the Commando Elite, and, but possibly the weakest unit in the entire game apart from Ocula. So we can finally get a clone, which is a little bit late in the level to be honest. I think the developers did that deliberately. And how many units do we have? Okay, we have all five now that we can spawn. And we've got two brick bazookas. This is going to be painful. It is Archer. It is Archer. Uh, let's throw a grenade at them Interesting. to get their health down. Surrender. As you wish. Okay, one of them left, which is a little bit annoying, but hopefully there's still some residual damage. That's interesting. Actually, that health pickup came back really quick, so maybe it's only a minute, two minutes before it respawns. I swear there's a lot more units spawning than I'm used to. But again, that might be because I'm taking quite a long time to progress through these levels because I'm talking through them. What do you need? So, you remember that code we saw earlier? 103? Let's type that in. Interesting. As you, wish. you don't necessarily need to find that code. You could figure it out eventually. It just take you a long time. As you wish. Interesting. And here's Ocula. So we've rescued him. We did it! No more enemy generators! An Oculus, good to go. Okay, so that's the end of the market level. 
Um, we will carry on with this next time and we will rescue the other two members of the Gorgonite squad so we can have all our units back together. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.